clear and cool outside this evening. Also a little bit of a damp feel as that temperature initially starts getting very close to the dew point. So humidity right now is at 75% a dew point of 54. Dew point values tend to drop a little bit more during the night, so you don't have quite that humidity feel, that dampness in the morning hours, but sometimes we do. And we might in the next couple of mornings even see a little bit of patchy fog. 50s, 60s on the map right now, so already kind of cool outside and dew points will probably allow those temperatures to get a little bit cooler as we head toward tomorrow morning and not much wind outside. So kind of the optimal conditions, relatively low humidity, the clear skies, the light winds allowing for those temperatures to come down. Our gradual warming trend will continue, but not just for the foreseeable future. We're going to kind of top out in the mid 80s later in the week and into the weekend. We'll have the 50s and 60s in the mornings and then those afternoons in the 80s. Very pleasant weather, rather low humidity and the dew points have been coming up a little bit and maybe a little bit of light rainfall early next week, but not too confident about that. A vigorous upper level system that is moving almost due east to our north, not really doing anything for our weather other than kind of shifting this upper high that has been present a little bit more to the west. So we keep a rather dry pattern in place through the rest of the week. Now later into the week and more so this weekend, we're going to see this weak little upper trough, upper low start to develop. Nothing very strong, but it might be enough help with some cloud cover and perhaps an isolated shower or two. Generally, the rule of thinking is when you're in kind of a drought, and a long period of dry weather, it's hard to break out of that. And you really need something more vigorous in that little weak upper system. So I'll put in the 20% chance for now, but don't count on a whole lot of rainfall. It's been very dry. It's been nice, but maybe hit the sprinkler a couple of times over the next several days. Where is the colder air? It is still bottled up. It's out of the Arctic, but it's more so into Canada. And there are signs that this air mass will be moving south not very far south, but more into the northern tier states, northern plains, parts of the Great Lakes, the northeast. Eventually, as we head later into next week toward Halloween, might get a surge of some of that colder air moving south. Big question is just how much of it gets here and exactly when. As of right now, doesn't look like the colder air will make it all the way down to the south, and it probably will stop off to our west and northwest by Halloween. So probably just have the kind of coolness to the air if you're going to be going out trick-or-treating. Again, we've still got plenty of time and the forecast obviously will change. Just trying to get an idea of what conditions might be like as folks are out trick or treating. Good news is it does not look like right now there will be any rainfall, but that system also could be kind of a rain driver. So we'll see what happens. We'll get a little bit closer and no more, obviously, as we head toward next week. This week, though, really no rain. High temperatures 50 or to me, low temperatures tomorrow morning, 50s and 60s and a high of 81. Gradually, we'll top out into the mid 80s as we head toward the end of the week. Very pleasant weather continues on into the weekend. Again, maybe that stray shower next Monday.